In today's video, I wanna test your knowledge on lazy loading images in your browser and also some of the advanced ways that you can go out and show and hide images based on different breakpoints. So the first thing that I wanna cover is where I actually had to do this in one of my recent videos. So there is a website out there called Frontend Mentor and they've released challenges to make you a better frontend designer. And the best thing about that is, you know, some of these are free. So this was a free challenge. And part of that challenge was to recreate this design by going ahead and using some HTML and CSS. I actually went the route of using this inside of WordPress and using Bricks Builder to build it. And the thing that we needed to do here in this design is change this image here for this post. So, so if I just highlight here, this is a featured post on the homepage and then the mobile version is over here. And you'll notice that we have this image over here is for the featured image for the post. So it's in this landscape ratio over there. And then over here, it's a square. Now, there are different ways that you can go out and get an image like this landscape one and change it to a square using CSS, using aspect ratios. But what this design actually did is it swapped the images. And I know this because the front end mentor website give you the assets exported as files. So, so they give us this JPEG square image here for the mobile and then the desktop is this one here. So is in fact two different images. So let's go in now and see how I actually managed to achieve this using native default bricks builder. And then I wanna show you some of the other couple of options that we could have used. What's actually going to be interesting in this video is that I am, after doing some research and doing everything that I show you in this video, I'm still left with a couple of questions that I'm wondering if you can help me out with in the comments below. So firstly, let's get into how I actually managed to achieve doing that design and swapping the two different images when I went out and built it using Bricks Builder. So here I am in that Bricks Builder install and I'm gonna go ahead and edit with Bricks. So if I move myself up here and we have a look at how I handled this, if I click on this image here, you can see that I have two different images here. So I have one image here and then I have a second image under it. The first one is labeled as default and that's gonna be the mobile image here. And then what happens is as we move to the medium breakpoint, I hide that mobile image and then I show this desktop image. So really all that we're doing there is just using some CSS and display none for one image and then display block when it reaches these large, larger breakpoints. So let's go ahead and recreate that on a blank page in the Bricks Builder and sort of see how Bricks Builder actually handles that. Because one question that we have at this point in time is if we are going and using CSS to show and hide these different images at different breakpoints, is our browser still gonna download the image that should be hidden. And it's really interesting. I, I think you definitely wanna stick around to see how this actually works. Cause I didn't really know in particular how this worked. And I'm really glad that I went ahead and put some time aside to learn what I'm about to show you. So here inside WordPress, let's go ahead and add a new page. And let's just call this bricks. And I'll just call this show, hide images and lazy load, which is what we're gonna be looking at in today's video. And I'll go ahead and publish that. And then we'll go and edit with bricks. So here in Bricks Builder, let's go ahead and just do what you're probably used to doing where you add a section which adds a section and a container. And then inside there, I'm gonna keep this very basic and we're gonna add an image. And I'm just gonna go ahead and select that image. And I'm just gonna upload these two images from my finder. And for this demonstration, let's just go ahead and choose this one here as the default image, the landscape. And I'm just gonna rename this, so image and then default. And then I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this. And this second image, we will call this mobile. And then I'm gonna go and select the mobile image. So there it is and go insert. And now we have those two images. So the way that I did it in that video is similar to the following. For the default image, we want that to load, but then as we get down to the mobile landscape breakpoint, for example, let's go ahead and hide this image. So we'll just search up here under style and then layout, and we'll go down to where it says display and we'll choose this to display none. So it's hidden and now the mobile is shown. But then what we also need to do is back on this default, we need to go to the mobile and hide it here. So we're gonna go, again, this is under the style tab. We'll scroll down and search for display and we'll say display it none, so it's not shown. And then as we go down to the mobile landscape, for the mobile image, we just may, need to make it go display and then block. And now that shows. So coming back to our default breakpoint, we have the desktop as we go down desktop. And then as we reach the mobile landscape, it's hidden and then it shows the correct image. So I know you're probably thinking, Grant, that's pretty basic stuff. Why am I watching this video? You just showed me something that I'm, I'm already doing, but follow along with this next bit. 
So now let's go ahead and just ensure that for this particular breakpoint for our desktop that we're not downloading the hidden image for the mobile. So I just wanna make sure the square image is not being downloaded because we don't want our users having to download images that aren't being shown on the page because it's just making our website slower. So let's right click and go inspect. And then we wanna to go to the network tab. And then to show you what this network tab does in case you haven't seen it before, I'll just pull this up and let's reload the page. And you can see that it starts to download all the different things on our page. So we have different types there. It shows us all the different style sheets that are being downloaded here. It shows us all of our different JavaScript files. We can keep going down. We can see the fonts that are downloaded here. Uh, and we can also sort by the type here just to group them. But here, if we go down, we can see the JPEGs that are loading. The first thing that I wanted to confirm here is that Bricks Builder, in fact, is not downloading the hidden mobile square image, which is what we want. Again, because if we're downloading images, it's going to slow down our website. We don't want to download images that are being hidden on the page. And so Bricks Builder looks like it's handling hidden images as we expect. It's not downloading them. Now, if we go ahead and just go up to here where we can filter everything in here and let's go to image. So we just see the images. We could even up here go one step further and only search for JPEGs. So we can just see the two there. And now, let's go ahead and just resize our browser and see what happens. So as we pull it into the smaller versions, you can see that something's just happened. So let's just pull it back out. And we can see that it did in fact download our mobile version once it reached that breakpoint. We can also go up to here and I'll just pull this down a little bit and we can check our responsive. So let's just resize it here and I might go the iPhone 12 Pro and then let's just go ahead and reload this and let's pull it up to see what's happened. And you can see that the only JPEG image that has been downloaded here is our mobile. So again, it's, it's working how we want it to work. It's not downloading hidden images because we know the desktop image hasn't been downloaded. But now let's go over it and start writing some custom HTML and see how this would work without Bricks Builder, without WordPress, and then come back to Bricks Builder. So all I'm going to do here is let's just go ahead and add an image. So there's our image and I might go ahead and add a second image. So we have those two images there and I'll just write this as class mobile and this has the class of desktop. And I might just change the order here just so it makes a little bit more sense. So desktop up the top, mobile under it. And I'm just gonna change the aspect ratio. So for the desktop, let's just make it a little bit larger. And we might also make this a square image for the mobile, just to go back to the design that we've been working on today. So the mobile image is a square and the desktop is the landscape. So down here, let's go ahead and hide the mobile image by default. So display none. And then let's go ahead and add a media query. And so if the screen is a maximum of 700 pixels, so smaller devices, let's hide our desktop image. So desktop display none. And then our mobile, I'll just copy and paste that there. So for our mobile, we will display that as block. So now we only see the desktop here, but as we resize it to the 700 pixels, it changes to the mobile. Okay, so that's working as we'd expect. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this. So I'll just rename this quickly to show hide images, lazy load and save. And then let's go ahead and preview that. And here I'm just going to inspect element and we're gonna go back to the network tab and just see what's happening. So let's go ahead and reload the browser and I'm gonna click back onto only showing images and we will do just the JPEG as well. And I'm just gonna make one quick change just so it's a little bit easier for us to follow along. So here I'm gonna make this a 400 by 400 square image for the mobile. So I'll just save that. And then back here, let's reload. So if I pull this down, you can see here we only have the desktop. And if I pull that up, that's gonna be this image here. So if I was to click on that and go to preview, that's that image there. But if I go to the 400.jpg, that's the square image. But as you can see, just by going here and reloading the page, on the desktop view, the browser is downloading the desktop and the hidden mobile. Cause this one here isn't being shown on the page, but it's still downloading the 20 kilobytes of the image for your user, which obviously you don't wanna be downloading images that are being hidden cause it's just downloading and slowing your website down for things that aren't being shown on the page. So this is a sort of problem, isn't it? And this is one of the things that I sort of started investigating. 
if the browser does that by default and Bricks Builder isn't doing it, then Bricks Builder is obviously handling that for us. So that's what led me on to sort of making this video. The more that I use WordPress and things like Bricks Builder, the more I find myself getting a little bit, a little bit lazy or a little bit like reliant on the technologies that I'm using. So for example, I go ahead and use Bricks Builder to show and hide that image like I showed you at the start of today's video. And then I check the network tab, everything's working. I move on to the next task. But really Bricks Builder has done something behind the scenes to go out and not download hidden images. Bricks Builder is obviously doing something there. So I'm trying to stop relying and just accepting things for the way that they are with things like Bricks Builder. I really want to understand what are they doing behind the scenes? So with that said, let's now look at lazy loading because lazy loading is a technology that can be used to only load images that are being shown in our viewport. So let's go into Google and search for lazy loading images. And we're going to go down to the Mozilla one. So we'll click on here and we'll just go through a couple of things in here. So we want to go down to images. So there's font and we can see what it says here. Very often web pages contain many images that contribute to data usage and how fast a page can load. Most of these images are off screen requiring user interaction like scrolling in order to view them. The loading attribute on an image element can be used to instruct the browser to defer loading of images and iframes that are off screen until the user scrolls near them. And it gives us an example here. So image source, alt, loading equals lazy. So knowing that this is how we go out and set images to only load when they're about to come into viewport, i.e. deferring them, the attribute loading equals lazy. Back here in our Bricks Builder example, let's go ahead and right click and inspect element. So let's just go ahead and have a look at what's going on here. So we can see for the desktop image here, the attribute loading is set to lazy which matches what we had here to defer loading the images until they're in the browser. And obviously the desktop is going to be in the browser on page load and so it loads. Then if we go down and look at the mobile here, which has display none there, so it's being hidden on the page, that also has the loading attribute set to lazy. So it looks like Bricks Builder out of the box sets all the images, the image elements that you add into the page to loading equals lazy. So by default, they're all lazy loaded. But we can't assume that this is Bricks Builder adding this loading equals lazy attribute to our images because WordPress core actually introduced their own version of lazy loading. So later on in today's video, we will investigate the WordPress core lazy loading. We will look at disabling the Bricks Builder lazy loading, then disabling the WordPress core lazy loading and seeing how they both interact together. But just note that we will cover that later on in today's video. And at this point in time in this video, it could be either one of those adding this. But the main reason that I wanted to point that out is that I think that's what's responsible for giving us this expected behavior of not loading the hidden mobile image as opposed to when we set up some custom code here and it loaded that hidden image in the browser. So to look at the attribute loading, it can actually have two different values. So we just looked at lazy, which tells the user agent or your browser to hold off on loading the image until the browser estimates it will be needed imminently. So before it comes into the view, so when someone's scrolling just before before it comes in, it starts to load it. So that's what the loading is there. But then we have this one here, eager. The default behavior, eager, tells a browser to load the image as soon as the image element is processed. So it looks like we only have two. By default, they're set to eager, or we can set it to lazy. Now, because the default is set to eager, that means that when you're going out and adding your images, you shouldn't have to add loading equals eager because it's the default. So it should just be like that. So basically, all we really need to do is write loading equals lazy, else don't add the loading attribute and it will load as eager. So keep that in mind for the next section. So coming back into our custom code for the mobile, let's write loading equals lazy and then let's save that. And then back here, let's reload the page and see what happens. So now you can see because we've lazy loaded that image, it's only loading the desktop, which is this larger image here. And if we get out of that, as I resize the browser, we should see it in fact load the mobile. So if I pull that back out, you can see it's just downloaded the mobile here, which is this one there. And to mimic what we get inside a Bricks Builder, all we would need to do is do what that's doing, where Bricks Builder adds loading equals lazy to all the images, so it seems. And if I save that and go back and reload, now we should get the result that Bricks Builder is getting where we load the desktop image. And even though that is loading equals lazy because it's in the viewpoint on page load, it shows. And then as we resize to the mobile, if we were to have a look, it's just downloaded the mobile, which is there. 
So coming back to this, let's go ahead and go into Bricks Builder. And then for this mobile image, let's actually try and get this doing what we don't want it to do, where it downloads the mobile hidden image. So we should be able to go here and then go to style. And I'll just make this a little bit bigger to see what we're doing. And then we can go down to the attributes tab here and we can add an attribute. And the attribute name is loading and its value is eager. So this would be the default, but because Bricks Builder adds lazy by default, we're then adding the default default as a custom attribute, if that makes sense. So let's go ahead and click save. So now on the front end, let's go to the network tab and let's go ahead and reload here. And you can see now it is downloading that hidden image for the mobile because we set it to be eager, which means it downloads no matter what. So if we go to the, to the um, elements tab and we go down, we can see here loading is lazy. And then down here we set loading equals eager. So we're forcing it to download. Now, obviously you wouldn't actually go and do that. You want to do what Bricks Builder does out of the box, but it's just good to have these sort of ideas and uh, basically think something is going to happen and you can force that to happen. But I hope that will was valuable to see what's happening there. So now that we've been through that, I want to put a spanner in the works. So as you can see here, WordPress introduced lazy loading by default in WordPress 5.5. And if I go to my dashboard and have a look at the version that we currently have, you can see in the bottom right hand corner near my video here that we're at version 6.1.1. So WordPress core by default has had lazy loading built in by default to all your images. So that had me asking the question, is it Bricks Builder or WordPress core that is responsible for this lazy loading effect inside of WordPress? And so I went out and tried to see what I could find. And this is what I found. And I sort of need your help for this next part. So let me know in the comments below if you have the answers to the following questions, because they're a little bit confusing to me. So if we go here into Bricks and we go down to settings and I go into performance, you can see that disable lazy loading is a setting here. So if I click to enable that, so we're disabling the lazy load and we go down and click save settings. If we go back to our page here and just reload, and I have a look at this image element and go down, you can see it says loading equals lazy. And we also have the loading equals eager that we set custom. So I will just quickly go ahead and remove that. So here on the mobile image under style and then attributes loading is set to eager. I'm just gonna get rid of that and click save. And if we go back and reload, you can see loading equals lazy is set here and loading equals lazy is set there. But that's after we've disabled lazy loading by Bricks Builder. So based on that, because we have lazy loading disabled in Bricks Builder, but we're still getting the lazy loading effect on our website, it must be coming from WordPress core. So what I want to do now is just sort of see what is Bricks Builder doing that default WordPress isn't doing. So I'm going to pull this out. So this is one tab here and I'm going to go ahead and get a new tab. So this second tab. And then back here in the settings, I'm gonna disable this. So we're going to enable the Bricks Builder lazy load and go save settings. And then here, I'm gonna go and reload the page. And then let's go and inspect. And so the first tab is when lazy loading was disabled in Bricks Builder. And the second tab is when lazy loading is enabled. And actually let's split screen here because it might be a little bit easier to follow along. So with the Bricks Builder lazy loading disabled, it says loading equals lazy. And then over here, loading equals lazy as well, where it's enabled. So that must be WordPress, but we're gonna come back to that in a little bit. I can see that it goes style and then sizes and it has a max width 1024, but that's also down here where it was turned off. And then we have the different source sets there, which is there. So I can't see any differences here with it enabled, but if we go down to the hidden image and go down, so that mobile image, what changes can we see here? So if I have a look at uh, loading equals lazy, loading equals lazy, so that's the same. So I can't see really much of an, a difference here except for the data sizes uh, there and data source set being different to source set over here. Uh, there's something going on there. If you could let me know in the description below a, an article that you could link me to about Bricks Builder and how it does lazy loading, uh, that would be really useful for me and to better my understanding. So the main thing that I'm wanting to know here is WordPress core has lazy loading built in. Bricks Builder has its own lazy loading capability. What is the Bricks Builder doing extra that the WordPress core lazy loading capabilities don't do? So that's what I was a little bit stumped on and what I need your help 
help with. And I'm sure a lot of people have the same question as me. So by letting people know in the comments below, maybe you're helping quite a few people. But now what I want to do is go ahead and disable the WordPress core lazy loading and see what that actually does and how Bricks Builder builds on top of that. So to do that, I'm going to go disable lazy load WordPress. And we're just going to try and find something here. Uh, there is a plugin here, which we could use. I'm not sure how complex it might be. Or we could add a little bit of PHP. Uh, but I'm just going to quickly go ahead and install the plugin. So let's go to plugins and then add new. And then I'm going to search for disable lazy load and we'll install and activate. So now that's active. And then I'm going to go to bricks builder settings and disable bricks lazy loading and go save settings. And now back here, let's go to the network tab and reload and see what happens. So now you can see down the bottom, we are downloading the hidden mobile image, which is obviously not what we want, but that's happening because we've disabled WordPress lazy loading and bricks builder lazy loading. And so we're just downloading as per what we were seeing in our code pen example here. Now let's go back to the elements tab and I'm just gonna have a look at this image and let's look at the HTML. So we'll go down. So what's interesting here is I can see loading is set to eager and loading is set to eager for both of them, uh, which is interesting. So I guess default uh, settings loading equals eager. WordPress is setting that instead of just letting the browser default to eager. I'm not quite sure why that might be. If you know, let me know in the comments below. I mean, who knows? Maybe Bricks Builder is doing that. <laughs> There's just a lot of stuff going on these days in WordPress, isn't there? So it's hard to know exactly what's doing what, but that is just worth noting that loading is set to eager by default with all lazy loading off. So now let's go into our Bricks Builder settings and let's enable bricks lazy loading. So I'll just do that and then we'll go down and click save settings. And then back in our page, let's go ahead and reload. And then let's go down and we can see loading is set to eager and loading is set to eager there. And our network has downloaded the hidden mobile image. So I might just refresh that just to see if that is what's happening. It's definitely what's happening. Um, if we go back to elements, loading is eager, loading is eager. So I really wasn't expecting that. I thought that these would be set to loading equals lazy uh, by Bricks Builder, but let's go into Bricks. And let's just make sure lazy loading is actually firing. So let's go up and add a new section. And then in there, we'll add an image element. And then here, let's go and select an image. And let's just select uh, one of these like that one and go insert. And I'll just go ahead and duplicate that quickly and select a different image uh, like that one there. And we'll go insert and I might select one more image. And it's worth noting that these are .webp images here just from a previous video that I did for YouTube. So they're not gonna be .jpeg. So we'll keep that in mind. So I'll go insert. Now I have those images, so we'll save that. And then let's preview that on the front end and we'll go right click and inspect and then network. And then here we'll just search for filtering by all images and we'll go reload and let's pull this up. So it's actually downloading all the images on our page, even the ones that aren't in the um, browser. So you can see as we go down, it's not downloading anything new. So, which is really interesting. So by going ahead and disabling the WordPress lazy loading, it seems like that disables the Bricks Builder lazy loading. Uh, again, worth noting, if I've done anything wrong there with that test, definitely let me know in the comments below. That just seems to be what's happened, I guess. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go back and just enable WordPress lazy loading here. So we'll just disable that plugin. And then here we have the Bricks Builder lazy loading taking effect. And we'll go up and reload the page. And you can see now it's only downloaded our desktop image. And as we scroll down, we should see more start to download, which are gonna be the .web format. So as we scroll down, there downloads one, and then it should download a second one, and then a third one, and a fourth one. So lazy loading's working. So a couple of interesting things to note. I think at the end of the day, if some of this is a bit confusing and you don't really want to investigate these things and the underlying technologies and how Bricks Builder is doing things, how WordPress does things, then all you really need to do is just do what you've probably been doing this whole time. Bricks Builder, keep that deactivated. So Bricks Builder is lazy loading, and then just leave WordPress to do its lazy loading as it does and everything will work as you want it to work. If you ever needed to go out and write some custom HTML and custom CSS, at least now you have an understanding of how the browser handles it and the loading attribute and things that we looked at in today's video. And that brings us to the end of today's video. If you enjoyed today's content, I'm gonna put some videos on the screen now that are related to today's video and are gonna help you be better with WordPress, better with CSS and things of the nature. So these videos here are the ones that I've picked for you. So pick any of them and I'll see you in one of them. I'm off to the coffee shop. It's very early here. I'm gonna get this exporting. Bye. Bye.